Hi guys, it's the Alexis and Rowan show and as you guys know, it's the start of autumn so we are here at our local park collecting acorns for acorn coffee and this is doesn't have any caffeine so me and Rowan can drink so. <laughs> yeah, and also um, when some look like with a shell on, them also look like this. Like if you yeah. look at the ground, it's like just this. Um, them also hang them everywhere. off from trees and they look like this and it's dangling and you can just grab it and look like this. collecting yesterday as you, you see we got like a lot of nuts and i just want to show you look at the size difference it's so big so we got back from nut collecting and now we're going to show you how to process them so these nuts have tannins in them which is like an acid and if you eat too many of them raw it'll give you a tummy ache so yeah. <laughs> we're going to show you how to process them and get the tannins out so we're going to use the rock method what you do is you just take a nut and you see this little kind of point at the bottom you're going to take your cutting board and then a rock and just bash it until you hear a crack See, mine already cracked, did you hear that? I don't know if you guys could, but and now you're just gonna get in the crack with your fingers and open it up. And then you can just take out the nut like that. And now usually um, it, some skin comes out with them, so what you wanna do is take off the skin. See, there's like a little bit of like that skin there and you wanna take that off too. And you wanna keep doing this until you get all of the nuts done. So it's the next day because we kind of did that for the rest of the night and we only have like this much to go. And we found a better method instead of doing that thing. It was a lot harder this way. And the peel sticks on it. So this way we find that just bashing it with a rock side, it just like, it makes it so much easier for the peel to come off and you're not worried about your fingers getting hit and the peel just kind of like slides off most of the time. And yeah. out of their shells what you're going to do is you're going to chop them up smallly or in our case we're going to use a food processor and we're going to put it on the setting chop so i'm just going to turn it on To get them to kind of like this consistency. Oh, that's a little. Not like powder, but just kind of like um, chocolate. Kind of like this consistency. So now we're going to pour it into a pot. We finished um, grinding up our stuff. We don't want it super fine, we just want it kind of like chunky in a way. And so we finished doing that. And now what we're going to do is add water to this. So we're going to be boiling this like five or six times, maybe even a little bit more. And you want to keep on stirring it so you know that nothing's burning or you, and you can get that tannins out. So I'm going to turn on the heat and stir every now and then. Brought it to a boil and now we're going to change um, 
pour out the water and put some fresh water in so and do the same thing again. Just gonna strain. Just change yeah. the water so now there's fresh water in it and we're gonna repeat the process six to seven times. So we're just doing our last boil and you can see how much clearer the water was compared to the first boil. And then we're gonna rinse it and we're gonna bake it. I'll show you. So we've spread them out on a baking sheet now. So this is what it looks like. So basically now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them into the oven and we're gonna stir them every now and then, cook them till there's basically no moisture left. So we'll see you guys when we- So after you bake it for a while, it should be like this. It's like really crispy, you can hear it when it falls. So that's what it looks like. And now what you wanna do is you just wanna grind it up. We're using a mortal and pestle, pestle, but you could use like a coffee grinder or just something like a blender, something to make it into like a powder. So after you've grinded it up, this is, sort of what it should look like. You can definitely tell the difference off of some of the other stuff it's of the grind. So this is what you want right there other than that really thick coarse stuff. You're going to find some way to filter the tea and we're just using this little thingy. <laughs> it's for tea. Yeah, it's for tea. <clears throat> and you just want to put a little bit in there just like you're using tea leaves. Hard to clap down sometimes. Okay. And you can stick that in your mug. And you're basically done. Mmm, sure tastes like ball, pumpkin scones, and acorn coffee.